Do you wanna know how you know you can trust everything that I say? Because look at all these books I got. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics going on in the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, before I jump into this Tanamongu moju, situation, uh, really exciting. The Discord server is at like over 500 people and we got so many different chats in there and amazing people like, if you haven't joined yet, you need to get up in there. Like we have like specific chats for like eating disorder recovery, addiction recovery, trauma, just everything people share like their art and it, it, there's a voice chat in there that people are hanging out in. Like what are you waiting for? Come on in there, hang out with us. So yeah, I don't know what happened, okay. like. Tristan, should I tell him? Should I tell him the chain of events that happened? Yeah. All right, okay. Here's the chain of events that happened. So I'm just chilling, making me and Tristan some dinner. Oh my God, it's like a Tana Mojo story time within a video about her story time. What? Tanaception. <laughs> okay, anyways, so I'm sitting there making dinner and I'm looking for you through YouTube to see uh, what we're gonna watch. So this video is like getting recommended to me and it's something about Tana Mojo being in a fight and we click on it and apparently it's a woman who was involved in this situation and I was trying to follow along with it and it made absolutely no sense. So because I'm a curious guy, I went to go see if Tana talked about it and lo and behold, Tana did. So as I'm cooking dinner, I decide to watch a Tana Mojo video, which I don't watch and this video is not about her fight. I could make an entire video about how Tana is not a psychic. She's just a hot mess. And these things happen to people who act cray cray. Um, but yeah, this video is more about enabling because the intro of this video, it got me kind of riled up. Um, the whole first part of her video was her new merch line called Cancelled. But before almost getting in a fight, I have been promoting the of my new canceled merch. As you guys know, for the past month, every single day, I've been working so hard on creating the perfect merch capsule. Not only the designs and working with up and coming artists to make graphics that I love, but making sure every single item is the quality and shape and size and fit of clothing that I wear every single day. But thank you to everyone over the Black Friday weekend who's already picked these up. I did not expect so many of you guys, just like from my Instagram and Twitter, to just go right away and buy it. And you guys literally blew me out of the water. I haven't seen merch sales like that in so so long so thank you so much so today today oh pff, you know what let's talk real quick you didn't think you were gonna click on a video about tana mojo and learn about neuroscience did you did you admit it okay so check it out today we're gonna be talking about enabling we're gonna be talking about positive and negative uh reinforcement we're gonna be talking about famous psychiatrists i'm even gonna give you an amazing book recommendation so anyways like i was a little upset about this because i know i know she's selling a ton of merch like she talked about how many people are already ordering it she's pushing her merch and i know i know she's selling a ton of it and i turned to tristan and i'm like yo like this is like messed up this is less than a year less than a year from the TanaCon debacle right like this whole hot mess you know her screwing this whole thing up you know pointing the finger at michael weiss even though they both screwed this thing up and now she's pushing merch on people like you guys like let's let's talk let's be honest just me and you real quick there are people who still haven't gotten refunds yet there are people who flew halfway around the world to go to TanaCon. all right there are people who were like what am i supposed to do and all sorts of things and shane dawson did an amazing job doing meetups and stuff like that while tana was out partying that night you know but she was really just you know trying to do damage control or whatever it is like there are so many people that got screwed over by that thing who are now potentially buying merch all right like let that process for a sec second everybody like this is terrible when it comes to reinforcement like i mentioned this in one of the jake paul videos i mentioned this in a few videos we are the reason that people like tana exist okay so let's talk about uh neural pathways real quick and the reward center of the brain so there's this beautiful little chemical inside of each and every one of our brains and it's called dopamine when we get something that we like we get a little 
little spritz of dopamine. You know why? Do you know why? It was very important for our, our evolution because it told us to do that thing again. So there's this guy named Dr. Judson Brewer, amazing man, and he calls it the habit loop, okay? So our brains are set up in a way where there's a trigger, a behavior, and a reward, right? So say, for example, you get nervous, you bite your nails, you feel ne less nervous, all right? That lays down a memory. So you're training your brain for every time you get nervous, you bite your nails, and it'll calm you down, right? But this works for other things, too. So Tana Mojo screws up. She makes a lot of money. Her brain is wiring in a way that's saying, okay, screw up sell people stuff and that's okay. Do you see what I mean? Like, imagine this, and this is, again, this isn't a video for Tana. This is a video for all of you, like, especially parents out there. Like, imagine, imagine my son. Imagine my son screwed up. Maybe he got in trouble at school or something like that. And he never apologized, he never corrected any of his behaviors, and I bought him toys. I am teaching my son that if he screws up, he is going to get rewarded. Think about that for a second. Like, this is not good. So when it comes to people like Tana or Jake Paul or Logan Paul or whoever it is, like we are reinforcing this behavior. <laughs> because I'm gonna show that clip. <laughs> All right, welcome back. <laughs> but yeah, this is enabling. So um, real quick, like go check out this book by Dr. Judson Brewer. It's called The Craving Mind. Anybody, anybody who's watching this video, you need to get that book. He dives into the neuroscience of positive and negative rewards. He's done a lot of extensive research and done brain scans when it comes to social media, when it comes to food addictions, when it comes to smoking, when it comes to alcohol and drug addictions. Like, there's so much in there. And he also talks about developing good habits. Like, if you are somebody who is trying to develop good habits, please, Please do yourself a favor and get this book, The Craving Mind. But anyways, back to enabling and this positive reinforcement. Like, as somebody who is an addict, this is something that kept me in my addiction. This is why we need to talk about enabling. We need to keep talking about enabling because a lot of you don't understand that you are enabling people, okay? So for example, in my addiction, I was still getting money from my parents, right? Every time I would call them to borrow money, they would give me money. My friends would loan me money. My friends would hang out with me. My uh, parents would invite me over, all these things. So my brain was training itself in a way, this isn't their fault, okay? This is not their fault. But my brain was training uh, itself in a way saying like, Chris, it's okay if you keep screwing up because things are still going well. I did not turn my life around until that stuff stopped, all right? So I want you to picture a world real quick where Tana's merch sales went down, where Tana's subscriber numbers went down, where these things happened. Do you think, do you think because of that negative reinforcement, she might start changing her behaviors? Because this is an absolute mess. Like, there's so many things wrong, and I've touched on this in other videos, but I was telling Tristan, so in the YouTube analytics, you can like see your demographics and you can see your age groups. And I'm sitting there watching this, I'm like, she she knows how young her audience is and the stuff that she talks about this is just mind blowing. Like I wish I could see like who the bulk of her audience is, but this goes back to a video um, that I just made about Eugenia Cooney. Like as parents, you know, we need to be better monitors of like, what our children are watching and know who they're watching, what are they watching it for, what are they learning and all that kind of stuff. Because at the end of the day, it is on us as parents, you know what I mean? But if, I wanna do this, please, 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 for the love of God, because I was talking to Tristan about this and I'm just curious, how many people, like just let me know in the comments, how many people who are 20 years old or older are subscribed to Tana Mojo? Please let me know in the comments, that will help my research that I do. I don't know what kind of research it is, but I'm very curious about that, all right? But anyways, anyways, let me know down in the comments below too. Here's my question for you. Like, have you enabled poor behavior in somebody before? Do you think this is a reason why they haven't corrected their behavior? All right, let's have a conversation down below, all right? But anyways, again, go check out that book, 
The Craving Mind by Dr. Judson Brewer. I'm gonna link it down in the comments below. Come join our Discord server. That'll be down in the comments in the description below. All right, but anyways, that's all I got. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I'm making a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you didn't know, now you know that there's some exclusive content over up over on Patreon, so go check it out, all right? And if you would like to join Patreon, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.